The UK has 2,579 stations, but in today's video we'll be focusing on the five with the highest annual entries and exits. As a hint, this is the list from 2020, but do you think you'll know the 2023 list? Leave a comment with what you think the top five is. I think number one will surprise you. At number five is London Victoria. This station had 45.5 million entries and exits in 2023. In 2020, Victoria was at second place with a whopping 73.5 million, but things have changed a lot in the last few years. It's the terminus of the Brighton Main Line. It has 19 platforms and is served by Southeastern, Southern, Galpic Express and Thameslink. It's also on the Circle, District and Victoria lines of the London Underground, but bear in mind that the passenger numbers from the Underground are not included. The numbers in this video are based on national rail stations only. According to data from August 2023, the Victoria Underground station was the ninth busiest with 3.3 million entries and exits. Victoria opened on the 1st of October 1860 and was designed as a replacement terminus for London Bridge, which did provide reasonable access to the city but was a bit inconvenient for travellers to and from Westminster. Victoria was a popular choice for commuters right from the start, and this was an oversight as there were very frequent delays only two years after opening and a lot of congestion started to build up at Stewart's Lane Junction. In 1863, a project was funded to reroute the trains into Victoria in such a way that it avoided the junction and relieved the congestion. This was successful and the work was completed in 1868. The biggest changes between then and now were the trains themselves, progressing from steam to electric. London Bridge was at number four on the list in 2020 and remains at that position this time around in 2023. Again, due to the pandemic, the numbers are much lower, down from 63 million to 48 million. The station has 15 platforms and is served by Southeastern, Southern and Thameslink, as well as the Northern and Jubilee lines of the Underground. When it comes to the Underground station, London Bridge is at fifth place with a total of 4.7 million passengers in August of 2023. It opened on the 14th of December 1836, making it the oldest London terminus that is still open. The original station had four tracks and no roof, making it very vulnerable to damage from the weather until one was built in 18. The station was rebuilt in 1849, then again in 1864 to increase capacity. Between 2009 and 2017, the station was rebuilt in a number of areas to accommodate the Thameslink programme, which involved having a track running right through the station providing a continuous route through the city. Today the station provides a key link to the centre of London, as well as services as far as Brighton. This is the station that you would have probably expected to be number one, but times have changed and Waterloo is now at third place with 57 million passengers in 2023. Waterloo sits on the Waterloo and City, Northern, Bakerloo and Jubilee lines. It has 24 platforms and is served by 35 trains per hour to destinations like Woking, Basingstoke, Salisbury and Exeter to name a few. In 2020, over 86 million people passed through the gate lines of the station and the underground saw 4.8 million passengers in August 2023. Waterloo first opened on the 11th of July 1848 and was intended to be a replacement to the nearby Nine Elms as it was closer to the West End. Dramatic increase in passengers led to the much needed decision to rebuild the station, a project that became known as the Great Transformation. They began the construction process in 1903 and the station, almost as we know it today, was opened in 1922 by Queen Mary. Waterloo continued to be the biggest station in terms of passengers right up until 2021 when it was overtaken by London Stratford. After regaining the crown in 2022, it lost it again in 2023 by quite a significant amount this time. With the help of the Elizabeth Line, Paddington shot up to second place from 6th and 45 million passengers in 2020 to 59 million in 2023. Paddington has 16 platforms and is served by Great Western Railway, Heathrow Express, the Elizabeth Line and the Circle, District and Hammersmith and City Lines. Paddington Underground Station saw 4.3 million passengers in August 2023. Remember, the Elizabeth Line isn't technically part of the Underground, which is why the numbers are so high for the National Rail Stations and so low for the Underground Stations. Of course, everyone knows that Paddington is named after the Marmalade bear and this can be confirmed because they actually decided to build a station around this statue of the bear. Unfortunately this isn't actually the case believe it or not. The station opened fully in 1854 and the first appearance of Paddington Bear wasn't until 1958. In 1863 the London Underground opened and Paddington was the first ever terminus along with Farringdon. You might think that 59 million is a lot because it beat out Waterloo in 2023 but what if I told you that first place had literally tens of millions more passengers? Any guesses? Again, thanks to the great contribution from the Elizabeth Line, Liverpool Street tops the list from 3rd and 66 million passengers in 2020 to 1st and 80.5 million passengers in 2023. The station has 19 platforms and is served by the Elizabeth Line, Greater Anglia, Stansted Express, C2C and the London Overground as well as the Circle, Central, Metropolitan, Northern and Hammersmith and City Lines. Numbers of the underground stations sit at 4.7 million and if you are curious, the busiest underground station on the list is King's Cross with 6.3 million passengers. 
1.5 million more than second place. Liverpool Street first opened in 1874, followed by the Underground in 1875 and the Elizabeth Line in 2022. It was built as the new terminus of the Great Eastern Railway and was also the terminus of the Metropolitan Line until the following year in 1875 when the Underground Station was closed and replaced by a new one called Bishopsgate. It wasn't until 1909 that Bishopsgate Station was renamed to Liverpool Street, the station we know today. While Waterloo remains the biggest station in terms of actual floor space and platforms, Liverpool Street is comfortably the busiest by quite some margin and it will be interesting to see how much things change on the list next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, keep an eye on the second channel as well, as I'll be reviving it very, very soon. See you next time.